as you go, he gets to about here, and then he's just like, enough of this, and cuts cuts the ties around his legs, but not his uh, not his arms, and grabs uh, the rope around his arms and just begins to push him in front of him, with spear in the middle of his back, and they just make their way slowly, methodically, almost marching him through town to the town master's hall. And that's where you all sort of wind up. Um, you get inside. Yep. Well, you get to the door. And with it getting dark, there's a couple of candles on inside. Uh, Sarah is there doing paperwork. And she'll see you, she'll see you walk in. Uh, and gets very wide-eyed and very confused. Um, and uh, he will march. Um, Edermath will march directly into the front door. And to the sheriff's section and inside and he will stand there with his spear in um, Albrecht's back and wait for you guys to get in behind him and ask uh, who has the key to the, the cells. Who does you have the key. Oh, I, I can conjure the key. Sildar, <laughs> Sildar gave you I'm the key uh, when he left. Yep. I remember now. So, Cool, I'll toss it over. Okay, he will unlock one of the cells and roughly shove uh, Albrecht inside. How many cells do we have, three. by the way? Okay. Nice, we have three people. Convenient. Uh, one of them is full. Now, you know that much. You could put yeah. two in the same cell. That would be fine. Um, yeah, we can put that other dude in the same okay. cell with the other so, guy. So, uh, Albrecht has one cell, the two bandits have another cell, and there's a cell empty in between them. Sweet. Um, Darren will walk over to, uh, Sildar's desk and lean against the front of it, uh, leaning his... Uh, spear, which uh, again I have to to tell you looks of masterwork quality. Like it is, you 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 get the feeling from this thing that it is very old, but also incredibly well made. Um, and that he is very effective with it. And he he will just sort of lean there, staring daggers at Iarno, and then will uh turn to you with a far kinder look and say <clears throat> gentlemen in the future I would suggest more caution I am well aware that the three of you were able to handle the red brands most effectively however if I have learned anything in all my years, it is preparation is key. Out of character, this whole town is just against my play style and just one <laughs> Well, so... Uh, Close quarters. And by this whole town, I mean the one person who controls the whole town. <coughs> uh, Edermath will... Uh, finish up his I'm an old man with a lot of experience. Uh, you should probably take a bit of my advice. Uh, adventuring diatribe. Um, and he will suggest that with it being as late as it is, you should uh, probably take uh, the Dendrars home. Where do they live again? Uh, in a place that is not marked on the map, which means it's in one of the houses that's not marked on the map. Uh, let us say they live... Oh, let's say they live here. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Hold on. Yeah, I feel like... That's not right. Ah, where is it? Uh... I don't know why, but I feel like it was there. What are we it looking for? Be, I don't think it was here. Ah, no, no. I apologize. It it's here. Okay. Del Dendrar oh, was the woodworker. Yeah, okay, the woodworker. I knew it was somewhere on that side of town. My apologies. 
So they live literally across the street. Nice. <laughs> and he'll 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 say, uh, if you would uh, kindly take them home, uh, see that they are settled. Uh, I will watch over these three. Perfect. And he will uh, walk around to behind Sildar's desk, uh, open a drawer, pull out a piece of paper. Uh, he snaps his fingers, and the two candles on both corners of Sildar's desk spring to flame. And he starts to write. Take that as our cue to leave. Yeah. Let's head out. All right. So, um, Myrna, Myrna and the kids, the Dendrars, have, uh, are sitting outside. Um, Sarah has come around from behind the counter. Uh, and has from somewhere pulled uh, some blankets and has has them uh, handed them out. Um, she's uh, pouring them tea or, or some sort of a, a beverage of that sort. Uh, you know what? It'd probably be spiced cider. Uh, and is just sort of talking with with Myrna uh, while the kids sort of deal with everything that's happened over the past two days. And you walk out into the lobby where they're sitting. Would you guys like to return to your own home for the evening? Uh, the, the kids immediately look up and uh, nod a little weakly. They're very tired, but they are very interested in getting home. Uh, Myrna will uh, also agree. She'll say, yes, please, if, if you wouldn't mind. Uh, and she will... Uh, put a, a hand on Sarah's shoulder and thank her uh, kindly for all of her uh, the, for the, the, the drinks which have been super useful and sort of calming everybody down and I should say come on come along children let's uh, let's go home and they all gather up their well actually you know what they leave their bags there because it's not all their stuff um they leave two of the bags there. Uh, Myrna's bag has the stuff that they were able to identify as theirs, and uh, they follow you out. You walk over to the woodworker uh, house here. Um, the door is uh, ajar. Um, it looks as though it was kicked in. Uh, you get the feeling that this is uh, how the red brands got in in the night. Um, Nobody's fixed it for this long. It's nobody lives there. Uh, the sheriff has not been here for very long. It happened before Wait. he got there. Where did they live after their, their husband died? Uh, they were, they were, kidnapped. were kidnapped. Yeah, they were kidnapped. Right, and they he were kidnapped was like yesterday. Day before. Like the, it's been uh, one two two now days since he uh passed this is the second this is the end of the second day that you guys have been here oh, okay so he was killed like the night before you guys arrived and then you arrived so that's one day and then all of this took place in the second day so his body is his body is is thankfully gone um whoever is the uh the, the mortician in this town is already sort of taken care of that. Um, I suppose it would be at wherever that is, so now they have to arrange a funeral. That's great. Uh, and then they were carted <laughs> away to Tresendar Manor, probably through the cave entrance. Uh, and you walk you walk inside. Uh, the door the, the the door is has been kicked in, obviously, but you could still latch it closed with a little bit of effort uh, if one of you wanted to attempt to uh, fix the door, you could probably do that if you wanted to. Otherwise... So you, you're saying it was no... no. <laughs> One more time, I'm sorry. You're saying it was no Thanar kick? Uh, no, it was not a Thanar kick. Uh, it was... 
uh, a kick directly against the lock, and then some guys rushed in. Uh, the the kids the kids go in and are very cautious about entering the house again. Uh, they go to uh, their corners of the the house into a second a second room that you kind of get the idea they all share. Uh, these are uh, medieval style homes, so don't think like everybody's got their own room. Everybody sort of shares a common room, and there's a k- cooking living room. So these are all spaces, not rooms necessarily. And they all, they sort of just uh, curl up knees to chest on their uh, cots or whatever they sleep on. Uh, Myrna will will come up to the three of you and say, uh, I cannot possibly thank you enough for what you've done tonight. Um, I, I have no way to repay you, unfortunately. If 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 there's anything you can think of that I can do, please do not hesitate to ask. Thank you. We're just happy to help. Okay. Uh, if you wanted, I, I think that'll kind of do it. Um, let's have uh, let's have Malba and Thanar roll a. Oh, what's a good check here? Uh, do, 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 do. you know, oddly enough, there is nothing here for like construction. Eh, if there's nothing here, then we'll just say you do it. So you you spend a just a, a quick little bit um, figuring out a way to get the latch on their door to work so that they can close it and lock it tonight. Um. Do a little bit of, of uh, cleanup, setting up some some of the tables that may have been left, knocked over, uh, hor- horribly disrupting the crime scene. Um, everything is sort of put back in place, and uh, life... It, it, it's, it's almost as if nothing has happened. Almost. Um, but everything's cleaned up. Candles are lit. Candles will probably be on all night tonight as they deal with all of this, but then... You guys are done, and uh, you can go wherever you'd like. Well, what I'm ready to go back into the end because it's late. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Okay. I'm ready to fucking... How long did we say we were going to be in the inn, actually? I remember we wrote that down somewhere, but I don't remember. In the inn? We paid for like 10 days, to be fair. Jesus Christ, it's only been two. <laughs> so, yes. I have like... I, I'm going... Spitz is going stir crazy. And he's only been here for two days. So you make it back to the Stonehill Inn. Uh, all of the same people that were there are there. Um, old Narf is still sitting over against at his at his standard table there beside the beside beside the the, the fireplace. Uh, the bard. Uh, did I say it was a lady bard? Did I say it was any kind of bard? I don't I remember. Don't it. remember. Let us so let us make it. You both. Let us make it, if you will, a a lady bard in a big floppy hat with a feather sticking out of the side, uh, playing a like a bowed lute. There's a specific kind that I'm imagining. Um, it's in a a Viking history video I watched recently. It was really cool. But it's sort of like a <laughs> a, a little tiny uh, laptop uh, violin thing. And she's playing that, sort of bringing a lot of, of light and warmth to the area. Um, you guys have been underground and out in the, the evening air, so it's nice to be back where it's warm. Um, if you'd like to, to sit down and order something, uh, you can. Um, you grab something to drink, definitely. Uh, some fine uh, home-brewed ale of some sort. Uh, and... You are free to move about the inn as you will. Uh, and as soon as you... Is there anything that you'd like to do here in this space? In the inn? Yep. Oh, Not particularly. I feel oh, like I... Maba would just be pretty exhausted okay. and just want to call it a night. That That's fair. Um, it's as high energy as usual, but that's normal. Yeah. Uh, so you've, you, Maba, specifically are feeling pretty rough. Uh, you've bandaged yourself up fairly well using the healer's kit. 
that you found down there. Um, you know, your wounds will heal over time, uh, especially if you visit the Shrine of Luck sometime soon. Uh, Sister Gariel will be able to help you with those. Um, so eventually you all make it off to bed. You drift into a, uh, a sound sleep, a well-earned sleep. Uh, Thanar, you have uh, a rougher time than the other two because you have a rotting bugbear head on your shelf. Aww. Yeah, it just, it just sort of it smells really not bed, great, though. and it's starting to leak. Oh, God. Yeah. Do I have a fireplace in my room out of curiosity? Um, Don't. No, you wouldn't have a fireplace okay. in your room. No. You you have you have candles, but that's about it. Maybe a lantern. But okay, that's right. Yeah, you all drift off to sleepy by times, and uh, overnight you reach level three. So you all are now when you wake up, uh, third level. Um, so you come downstairs. Stretching out, you know, you've put on a, a fresh shirt or something. Um, if you want stuff cleaned here at the inn, you can certainly ask behind the at the at the the front desk. And there's a there's a laundry service, if you will. Uh, Is that included? Uh for you, yes. If you guys weren't, you know, who you are and what you've done, uh, yeah. Every, like everybody in the inn is super excited to see you. Like you come downstairs to a round of applause. Uh, there's some miners in here uh, with picks leaning against the table as they have their breakfast before heading out to the mine, heading out to the the mines and the rivers to pan for gold and all that fun stuff. And they're just like everybody wants to buy you a drink. Um, there's folks all around like just wanting to shake your hand. It's perhaps a bit overwhelming. Um, the innkeeper, uh, Toblin Stonehill, comes over and he 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 shakes your hand and just uh, ushers you to a table near the window. Just a really nice, lo nicely located table, sort of away from everyone. Uh, and almost immediately, a full English breakfast is brought out with a great big pitcher of ale for you guys to wash it all down with. Great breakfast is had. The news has gotten around very fast that you guys cleaned up the red brands. I'm 100% still in my starry PJs. Oh, yeah, definitely. <laughs> I took off the hat. I took off the hat, though. <laughs> oh, why would you take off the hat? That's the best part. I love, because he's not that socially departed. <laughs> I have a question. Do you have slippers? Um, probably. Okay. You would. You have to have slippers. Like that's probably. Not are they like super nice, classy slippers, or are they perhaps owlbear slippers? Like, it's got like an owlbear think... face on it. A what now? Oh, an owlbear is an aberration. Uh, hold on. I'll show you this thing. I think he probably has super nice ones, but he wouldn't wear them now because he doesn't want to get them dirty. Like, you only wear them in, like, your home home. Yeah. Okay, no, that's fair. But you have your travel slippers. Or, like, hotels. Yeah. You're in a hotel. Well, I mean, like, nice hotels, not this shitty fuck, fuck place. Oh, this wow. That's a pretty great place. Wow. It's not anything against the inn, it's just the town. Oh, yeah, you're not happy with this little frontier town, huh? You're too good no. for this little frontier town that loves it's you. It's not that he's too good, it's that he's too bored. That that loves you now oh. for saving everyone. Uh, so I put a picture of an well, owlbear in, uh, in the Discord chat. Wow, that's a... I, the only words in my brain are good boy, but that's reserved for dogs. So that's not just reserved for dogs. You know this. Uh, it has I been do. sort of established yes, semi canonically that their call is. <laughs> 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 
Okay. So, just so you know. Why would these How big slippers? is it? I can't know. Uh, is it the size of a bear? Yeah, no, they're, they're, they're the size of a grizzly bear. Just like... That's Why terrifying. Why on slippers? Uh, generally speaking, you know, it's like having bunny slippers or teddy bear slippers. <laughs> it's just, you know. Yeah, yeah, I guess those would be travel slippers. Yeah. You know, maybe just like some feathers on the side. Anyway, you, you come downstairs, uh, you know, there are, there are kids here because this is the, the middle ages and, uh, you know, if, if parents are here having breakfast, <laughs> their kids are with them and they're super interested in, in this gnome who's come down in, in like velvet blue starry, uh, pajamas with these funny owlbear slippers. They think you're hilarious. Uh, you could do some some tricks for them if you cared, or just eat breakfast or whatever. I think he would. Okay. By the way, do I have to attune? Lord, uh, you attuned to the sword during your short rest. Okay, cool. Yep. Um. So, do you are you guys like armored up and you're ready to go, or did you come down for breakfast and you're going to go back upstairs and get your kit? I thought we were just gonna like chill and talk. Honestly. Well, I mean that—that's—that's I mean, that's the question. Really Both are the same for me. <laughs> okay. So, uh, you breakfast is is had. Is there anyone you want to look for or talk to? Um. Uh, Aaron, who, who do we recognize that's in the room? Uh, I mean, you you recognize Toblin Stonehill. Um. His wife is there uh, behind I never want to talk to him again. That was such an awkward introduction we had. Uh, his wife's behind the... Isn't that, isn't that guy the mayor? Do what? Is Toblin the mayor? I can't no. remember. No, he's the owner of the inn. Yeah. Toblin, uh, got it. Toblin owns the inn. Uh, what is his uh, name? Stonehill Inn. Yes. <laughs> I should have been looking at the map. <laughs> Harbin Wester is the mayor. Uh, he would be at the, the town master's hall. Uh, you would imagine. That's what it was. Yeah. Um, the but knowing uh, him, he's probably not there. Elsa, the barmaid that you guys talk to, is there. Obviously, um, she's you know a barmaid, young, eighteen, twenty, somewhere in there. Uh, and she's she's serving you guys. You know, anytime you drain the the pitcher, she brings you a new one. Always checking on you, making sure you've got everything you need. Uh, if you ask for anything like water or juices or whatever, she's got that like right on, right on time for you. Uh, she's sort of having to push through the crowd a bit because everybody wants to be close to the heroes of Fandolin. <laughs> but you know, good breakfast, well cooked. Uh, everybody's you know. Got their Sunday, put put putting out their best for you guys. Uh, you're sort of uh, a big deal right now. Oh, this what is the a first nice time family. in my life. Same. So, but not really. This is the first good thing I thought about me, so. this town. So you you finally get finished with breakfast. Uh, you you gather up your stuff. Uh, you can go wherever you want to in town. You know, you you kind of have the lay of the place. You can look around. Uh, go wherever you like. Is there a way we can get in contact with Sildar again? Uh, if there is, you don't know it. Um, okay. People who know Sildar very well may know a way. Yeah, I feel like Darren, that's probably who was writing to a leather two last night, but I don't actually know. Just my guess. I mean, you, you know that two people in particular specifically know Sildar very well. Uh, you know that Darren knows Sildar pretty well. In Barthen. Mm hmm. So you know Barthen knows Sildar very well. There's one other person other than Darren, obviously. Wasn't it? Oh, can't remember her name, her healing lady. Uh, Gabriel? Yep, it, it, it's also on the map. I'm not all liking the map right now is the problem, you see. Uh, it it might be Sister Gariel. Yeah. Yeah, there it yeah, is. Yeah. She knows so Sister Gariel and Barthen uh seem to know Sildar very, very well. 
um, uh, they were there like the night he you guys came in. Uh, Darren Edermath obviously seems to know him very well. Ex adventurer, you get a feeling there's a story there. Uh, so you guys can go wherever you'd like. Well, I kind of want to go to the shrine just to get these like wounds healed up because okay. I'm not like I'm I don't want scars and stuff. Okay. So yeah, I mean you're you you don't you, they they don't hurt too bad. Like they they only hurt when you touch them. You bandaged them up really well. They're not causing you too much of a trouble. You know, maybe if you, when you do your morning stretches, you feel a couple of them twinge when you lean against them. Uh, but you can, you can head out. And uh, folks, folks are really happy to see you. But, you know, life has to go on. So they're not going to follow you around like fanboys or anything. <laughs> you know, but, uh, but out you go and you can, you can go over to the Shrine of Luck. Uh, you knock on the door, sister, uh, Garyelle comes out. Uh, she's, uh, she's up and around already, uh, dressed, ready to start the, start the day. Um, she comes to the door. Gentlemen, you have been very busy. How may I be of service today? I was wondering if you could help heal some of these wounds most it's not great most certainly yes oh i uh, what else? it's the least i can do please this way and she takes you into the shrine of luck where you've been before uh sits you down at the pews um she will uh walk up to the front where there's the the small small dais and uh she opens a a door in the side of the this uh this stand and pulls out uh, some oils and a, a, a cloth of some sort. And she closes them, walks over, uh, hands you a, a, holy, a holy symbol of Timora uh, and says, if you'd hold this, please. And she just very gently begins to uh, put oil on each of your wounds as she prays. And... Uh, Slowly, over a period of, say, three to five minutes, uh, each of the places that she's touched with this oil begins to um, get very, very hot. And then it burns and then is gone. And all of the wounds that you received last night uh, have sealed up completely. There is a small patch of uh pinkish skin like new skin like you've 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 had wounds where it removes like the top layer of skin and then you get that new skin underneath okay yeah it looks like that and this is all taking place over like let's say five minutes or so and she wraps up the the prayer uh starts cleaning up and, and takes the the holy symbol back uh and as she does she holds it back out to you Unless you'd like to hold on to it. Um, what can I do with it? But like, if I hold on to it, though, I'm I wouldn't know how to use it. I, I'm afraid that it would be uh, nothing quite so grand as as what I can do in the the a house of Timora shrine such as this. But who knows? It it might bring you luck. That is Timora's uh, whole thing, after all. Well, I'll gladly accept it then if it could help me out in the future. Thank you. You're more than welcome. Timora's certainly been with you boys uh, last night. Darren was by uh, earlier this morning. Tells me that you had uh, quite the adventure. Went in a bit half-cocked, I would say. But uh, all seems to have gone very well. So all's well that ends well, as they say. She's yeah. going back and putting things away, straightening things up. Uh, I actually have a question for you. Is Do you know of a way we could contact Sildar? Because I feel like he would want to know this information. She thinks for a second. Uh, hmm. Let me see. And I actually have to look at something. Uh...
Da, 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 da. Hmm? Hmm? Uh, yes, actually, I, I suppose I, I could uh, actually get a message to him. It would have to be, have to be short. Uh, let me see now, 25 words or less? Okay, let me write a message real quick. They'll get the message to him the best, and I will skip that to you. Okay. Okay, guys, we need to plan a 25-word message <laughs> that gives all the information required. Okay. okay, so what are we trying to tell him? We have to do capital D colon to start off. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> you cannot send emojis. That's a very strong choice. You cannot send emojis via you can't send holy oh my text. God. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to spell it out. <laughs> oh no. I think hold on. Okay. So we need, we got 22 words left. <laughs> <laughs> eight equals 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 d okay that's it's a couple words i think that's one word please no <laughs> he'll okay, just think what? he'll just think it's gnomish uh a gnomish greeting He's going to get this in verbal text. Like, this is not a text message. <laughs> That's the best he, part of he's, text speech. It's a voicemail. He, he, yes. John Madden. John Madden. I you. I you. Okay. What do we want to say? Rover said 8 equals 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 D. Oh. No. <laughs> None of Why that. Why is that possible? None of that. I will shut that off so fast. So help me. I didn't know that existed. I did it once! I'm fucking crying! Oh god! <laughs> so, um, just so you guys know, out of out of character, uh, she is going to cast sending. Uh, you send a message, a short message. Puffer, you will you will know this spell. Uh, if if you you kind of have a rough idea of so what this is. Uh, you send a short message of 25 words or less to a creature with which you are familiar. The creature hears the message in its mind, recognizes you as the sender if it knows you, and can answer in a like manner immediately. The spell enables say, creatures with intelligence scores of at least one to understand the meaning of your message. Where are you? Hit me up. I think that uh, since, Malba, since Malba initiated... Uh, Malba gets to give the the text here. Yeah, I'm typing it right now. Uh, Sister Gariel, while you're sort of you've taken out a, a, a quill or or you're thinking it out in your head or whatever, uh, and she's going about straightening things, uh, making sure that uh, anything that may have blown over in the night, because this is sort of an outside, an outdoor shrine. This isn't a church; it's a shrine. Uh, and she's sort of straightening things up and all that. Uh, those of you who are also here may engage if you'd like. Yeah, you guys talk to her while I write this message. So, uh, you all are sitting there in awkward silence while, uh... Oh, I was gonna talk, but then you guys started talking about shit. Sure, so, so what are you gonna... Oh, this is, this is my tentative message. You guys can adjust it if you want. I think it's good. Red brands is one word. Oh, nice, I get even more letters? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't retype it. H-O-U at the end. <laughs> With that extra word, just HMU. Uh, I hate all of you and all that you stand for. <laughs> <laughs> so is, is everyone is everyone okay with the message, or should I change yeah. things? Yeah, yeah, I think. I yeah. mean, I'm just 
I'm just going to pretend I didn't read it. I'm going to pretend <laughs> that I trust you. Dude, I'm not putting that last part, but... I, I, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm like not metagaming Jesus. like that. I've been metagaming about Overwatch skins this whole night. At least you <laughs> could do. Do you wanna... You could add something about the letter we received, but also, don't have to. We don't quite have that many words. <laughs> Okay, this is the letter that I'm going to... Fitz is unhappy with what you sent. <laughs> Fitz will remember this. So where do we want to go after this? So is like, that I'm... is that the message you're sending? Yes, yeah. the second one. All right. <clears throat> I don't know what our options are. I'd say we visit Darren and show him the letter that we got. Uh, staff. All right. I mean, what yeah, if, uh, so what if, hey, get this? You you might say no, but what if we left? Say what? What if we? I'm uh, not leaving left? this city. I like this city. Oh my god, we have to leave some point. It Jesus reminds Christ. me of. Home. So um. It remind me of a pussy. Mal, Mal, uh, Fitz, are you going to talk to uh, Sister Gariel while uh, Malba writes out this thing? Uh, no, it's over. I, it's, I'm fine with it. Okay. Moving on. So you kind of sit there in awkward silence for a bit. Um, uh, Sister Gariel will bring you a, 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 a piece of parchment and a, an ink and quill. And you write out this, uh, this message uh, on this, this thing. And it says, uh, yeah, okay. And she will take it and hold it in both hands. Uh, and almost like it was a microphone, she sort of whispers some strange incantation over it, and then it sparkles and disappears. And uh, she says, and now we wait. And there's a, there's a, a pause while she continues. Uh, and then she, she stands up straight and she tilts her head to the side as though she's listening to something. And she says, okay, uh, he's responding. Uh, Iarno alive. Well done with the red brands. Meeting with Druid later today. will return quickly. Many questions. That's what he says. Did he say anything after Druid returning quickly? Because you could have. I apologize. Uh, we'll return quickly. Many questions. Okay. Should we... Um, oh. Um. So, it sounds as though you have impressed Sildar again. Uh, I know for a fact you have impressed me. Um... I may have a proposition for you in the very near future. Uh, there are certain organizations here along the Sword Coast that uh, have need of effective, uh, good people such as yourself. If you continue to... Uh, I will be watching you with great interest, interest for a while longer. Um, I appreciate everything you've done. Thank you. Tell us when you know the details. I certainly will. May the blessings of Timora be with you. As they already appear to be. Except for Fitz. <laughs> you can't yeah. look for shit. <laughs> she... she uh, she laughs a bit, uh, and... Because she knows what fucking rolling is, apparently. Hey, that part was obviously out of context. Learn to listen, you dumb idiot. <laughs> we make jokes and they happen in real life. Why does she know what rolling is? Uh, uh, not rolling, just the except for Fitz, I imagine, was perhaps uh, mumbled under the breath. Uh, and she has very good half-elf hearing. And uh, you are free to roam about the city. So... Okay, I'm going to give that little luck thing charm thing to Puffer because he <gasps> needs it. Oh! I'm so honored! What the fuck is it? I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> it is a holy symbol. 
Um, let me see. Ah, very nice. Uh, it is a, a holy symbol of Timora. Uh, it is essentially uh, a gold coin with two heads. So both uh, both sides are an image, a beautiful image of uh, the goddess Timora. And uh, both sides are uh, a head side of the coins. It is a Ooh. symbol of good luck. Neat. It's just, I like it. Is it a charm or? It is. Like... It is very specifically a uh, a holy symbol. Oh, okay, I forgot the word, so I just decided to ask. Okay. Uh, you you did some religion checks earlier. Uh, her uh, aspects, if you will, are good fortune, luck, skill, and victory. Could definitely Ooh. use most of those things. Hmm. Do you guys want to visit Darren now? I think we should show him the letter. Who's uh, Darren Yarn. again? Darren Edermath. I, so, I never met him. Hey, you met him yeah. in the fucking cave, dude. He was I the didn't... bitch who carried Yarno out by his fucking neck. Oh, that was his name. I've yeah, that was Edermath. I got never got introduced to him. Hey, you guys remember how uh, we were like, oh, after we go uh, into this cave, we'll go talk to the boy at the farm? I think we should go talk to the boy at the farm. <laughs> you, okay. I told you it was a good joke. It wasn't a great joke. Oh, <laughs> stars. Well, let's go talk to the boy. In, in meta, uh, the, the, the boy had the information that he gave to Edermath. You were supposed to go talk to Edermath. If you want to go talk to the boy, that is entirely up to you. I don't think I Fanar would want to. Right? Uh, Fanar hates... So are you guys walking it. towards Darren Edermath's house as you have this discussion? Absolutely not. Um, yeah. I mean, that's where I'm going. He just is not used to childish adoration. I'm going to Edermath's house. Taking Me the too. road, not walking across the green like some people. Okay. Um, as you do... Uh, you are passed by a cart uh, full of boxes. Uh, you recognize the boxes. They all have a, a blue lion on the side. Uh, and riding up behind this cart is a very tall, very strong-looking woman. Uh, her name is Lynean Greywind. Oh, hey, it's... I remembered her name. Yeah, I knew you did. Even though it's not on the map. Yeah, I knew you did. I thought about robbing her, so I can remember her name. I don't remember her. Who is she again? She was the chick in the Lion Shield costume that we told to go recover her stuff. Oh, okay. She will uh, pull up short next to you. Say, Thanar, uh, if you have a moment later on, stop by. We found all the goods that... uh, that you told us would be there. I have a, a small oh! reward for you. Oh! Glad to hear it. I'll see you. And she will uh, smile and ride on. And you continue on your way to Edermath Orchard. Up and around. And then back down. And <laughs> you're, you get to his house. Uh, I imagine you knock. Why not? Okay. That's uncharacteristic manner. He respects Mr. F. Excuse you. Um, I wouldn't knock at your door, though. <laughs> um, I don't like Thanar. Fitz like, legit hates Thanar. <laughs> There's no answer? You wait for a little while? Nothing? I cast press the digitation, and it's like a, the sound of like three really fucking loud knocks. <laughs> All right. Like insanely loud. Just like thunderclap. Bang, bang, bang. <sighs> no answer. But as as, as you bang on he the must door. Have not heard the knocks. Huh? He must have not heard the knocks. We should try again. <laughs> uh, I, I, yeah, I said again. As, as, <laughs> as, oh it's, more, it's like, hey, you in there? 
as you as you knock, uh, you you get you hear a fluttering of what sounds like paper. You look over and there is a piece of paper sort of wrapped around the leg of a chair that's on the front porch. And you pick it up and you look at it and it it uh, essentially says that it says um, at Townmaster's Hall. Fuck. How inconvenient. Okay, I think he's still inside, guys. I think we should knock again. <laughs> I kind of agree. I wonder where he could be, you know? Are you going to break into Darren Edermath's no, house? I'm, I'm thinking about it. Okay. Just, I, I am I'm not going, going to the town master's hall. Okay. With or without fits. All right. So you got, do you cut across the town green? Not no. at all. <laughs> okay. So you go up the road and back around. I respect John. Uh, so you walk over to the town master's hall. Uh, the cart that Lining Grey Wind was uh, riding has pulled in over here. Uh, you you can see some some big burly men who are are carrying boxes inside and all that. Uh, the boxes rattle, barrels of uh, spears and swords and the like are are jingling. You go inside um, for the first time. Sarah is not there. Uh, Thank God. She, oh, she bless. Is, uh, <laughs> she's not behind her her desk. Everything is neat and tidy. It almost looks like she hasn't been there today. She could have been murdered. Doesn't she she has a little bell. Does she have a little bell? Uh, yeah. At her there's, desk? A, there's a bell. Okay. I'm I, gonna... I know she's not there. I uh, make it. I like cast precious digitation and I make the bell like a lot louder as well. Okay. It's like an additional bell so noise. very very loud. Um. You hear you. It's not as loud as the knock. Right, right, right. But, but it's like ding, 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 ding. And you you hear yeah. from uh, Wester's office. Oh, she's she's not in today. Uh, she's um, she's over helping her sister out uh, with uh, all that happened to her. Come in, gentlemen. Please come in. And uh, Wester. Uh, is standing in the door to his office and is is motioning you uh, to come in. A, a a very large smile on his face. <laughs> well, I, uh, we have business in. to attend to first. Do you know where Darren is? Yes, he's in here. Oh, all right. We'll come in. You walk in, or at least I will. Yes, I will too. Yeah. And Darren Darren Edermath is is sitting there, uh, very nicely, uh, in a chair. He he looks as though. Uh, he has not been fighting. Um, he, he's, you know, there, there's something about elves, um, even though they may have been in a scrap or they may be dirty, they still sort of pull it off somehow, you know, and he may be only a half elf, but that still is sort of around him. Just this aura of, of calm, uh, and capable, he sort of radiates that, and he, he smiles as you walk in, and uh, Wester ushers you in, and he, he gets a, he, there's a, there's obviously a big chair, big plush chair, and he will pull a, a, a stool over and then actually walk out himself into the, uh, the lobby and grab another chair and bring it in for you. So now you all have a place to sit. Uh... He'll walk around behind his desk and, and sit down. Um, have Are you going to say anything before he begins, or are you just waiting? I was waiting. Okay. Uh, I am imagining that Fitz takes the very large high back chair immediately. Oh, def yeah, definitely. Yeah, leaving uh, Fanar and Malba to take <laughs> either the stool or the wooden uh, wooden back chair. Um, and uh, see, I wouldn't have really minded if uh, yeah, then I'll just stand. He doesn't care for. He doesn't care. Okay. Uh, Thanar stands at uh, at ease. Uh, West, I will pop a squat on that wooden. <laughs> okay, Wester will sit down and say, "Gentlemen, I cannot possibly thank you enough for the services that you have uh, rendered for us last night." Uh, ridding this town of the Red Brand menace is more than I can possibly repay. 
Um, does he seem like he's telling the truth here? Roll insight. Oh shit, hold on, let me pause my game. Um... <laughs> You're the worst. No, it's a casual game, so I'm paying attention. Holy I just need holy. some... I need... I need with my hands. Masturbate like the, all of us. <laughs> like the rest of us are obviously doing. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm just simulating an entire world with my mind. Yeah, exactly. So you need something to do with your hands because you're oh, obviously not oh, using them. Right, that was whatever. I got the. I that was the first. So, goal. That's so the first two goal. things. Two things. Number one, turn off advantage. I did, but I got uh, it. I got it. Thing two, uh, you are sort of surprised to. You're sort of surprised to realize he actually does seem to mean it. Like he's he's sort of being sincere in this in this uh, this moment here. Huh. He seems he seems Out genuinely happy that the red brands are gone. Out of character, I genuinely don't understand this character, <laughs> but that's fine. I'm sure I will. You have to understand, gentlemen. Um, yeah, it's a uh, it's a very difficult business uh, being the mayor of a town quite like Fandolin. Uh, we've not existed, well, I should say, we've existed for a very long time in a, in a very poor uh, location here along the Sword Coast. Um, we have always sort of needed protection, uh, being as um, centrally located as we are and as near to the wilds and orc raiders and no offense, of course. Um, then I'll just nod. <laughs> when you've grown up in a situation like this, uh, you sort of learn to deal with a lot of things and try to make the best of them as best you can. Um, unfortunately for myself, uh, that meant attempting to make deals with the Red Brands. Um, There's no way that I can apologize enough to the Dendras or any of their kin for what happened. Um, but when you're beset by a group as large and as dangerous as the Red Brands were, I was afraid that they would take the entire town. Uh, they essentially did, but in name only, I suppose. Um, I hope you can understand my plight. Uh, no, you caused uh, one of your own citizen deaths. I am aware. There is... No excuse for that. I am certainly <sighs> Yes. That I there is no excuse. Thel Dendra is dead. Uh, because I did not have perhaps the intestinal fortitude required to stand up to these bandits, uh, but you have to understand I am I am not a warrior. I'm not an adventurer. I'm not a guard. I'm not a wizard. I I have nothing but my own wits, and those are not particularly <laughs> useful in situations like these. I received a message uh, from Glassstaff, who is apparently Yarno Albrecht, whom I considered a friend during his time, uh, threatening the entire town if I were to call for reinforcements, uh, attempt to halt their movements in town. Um, I don't know. I thank you greatly. Yarno. Since Yarno was his, your friend, he was only picking on your weak character that he was aware of. Yeah. It is your fault that they took advantage of this town. 
Yes. That is... That is Pound the case. deserves an apology for it. And... It just this aside, he's he's processing this. He's you you sort of get the feeling that he is aware of everything you've just said, and kind of doesn't quite know what to do with it. Um, Darren Edermath will uh, look to you, Fanar, and just very uh, surreptitiously, just as 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 low key as he can sort of try to wave you down just like chill just a bit okay just nothing like he does not he you are very aware that he does not disagree with you but he's like chill i'll, I'll trust him because he knows this Stan can't read social situations enough to tell himself. Exactly. Um, it's not even that. And for what he did, according to Thanar. But he'll take... Well, so he um, did just get water wet. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, ease up. Um, Wester will uh, say, I will open... If there's anything at all, that I can do to repay you on behalf of the town of Fandelman. Please let me know. I have much to pay for, and I have every intention of paying for it either with my good service in the future or with, should it be required of me, uh, the relinquishing of my title. This is... Not what I had hoped for, but you, I have, you run into this. Sir, with all, all due respect, that won't be necessary. Well, while I do appreciate um, your uh, services, gentlemen, I'm afraid that may be not up to me, but up to the town itself. I, um, I will do all that I can um, and have been receiving today, this morning, the Council of Darren Edermath, with his advanced years and great wisdom. Um, perhaps I can uh, learn to be a, a better leader here in town. I, this is my hope, at least. Then will nod, and he'll, like, relax up against the wall. Lord. The <laughs> just you you have to remember with Thanar, Thanar is a soldier. This man uh, is essentially a uh, a traitor to the cause. Like to to allow uh, an enemy unit to move in and take over your position without standing against them is almost unconscionable. I'm just saying, it's not like he had an entire group of miners. I'm sure it could bash somebody. I mean that that's true. Um but you know, you have to kind of consider I mean, you you don't have to consider Diddly Squat, but you also have to kind of con <laughs> kind of consider that there were how many bandits have you run into so far? Like there were 10 or so down there and then 5 at the Sleeping Giant. You know, and then who know and then, you know, Glassstaff himself who for anyone who isn't you uh, quite a challenge. Um, in a city like this, uh, I think it's fairly safe to say that um, the some of the more average city guards in a in a small town like this would be level one. You know, if we were putting it in game terms, this is. Th there's a reason that adventurers go adventuring, and that's because they're exceptional. Uh, it, it would be, it's the difference between, say, you or I and uh, a very young Hercules. You know, by the time a, um, by the time an adventurer reaches level 20, which is the, the, 
the level cap for the game, they're essentially a demigod. So, just a just a, an idea of where your expectation should be. Um, Edermath will uh, stand up from his uh, chair, walk behind the uh, the desk, and and put a hand on uh, Wester's shoulder, and just sort of look out the window behind Wester, just sort of lending lending him a bit of strength. But yeah, yes, I won't. Uh, I won't keep you here all day, uh, listening to me uh, go on about my mistakes. I have much learning to do and much to uh, much to make up for. Thank you again for all you've done for us, and I, I hope that uh, I hope that you will be around for a long time. Thank you. I forgot what I was going to say. I had something to say. It was great. And... <laughs> I hate words. So, uh, Wester has said his piece. Um, he is open to questions, if you have any. Uh, or you may uh, go wherever else you wish. We do also have business with uh, Edermath. Oh, yes, certainly. Uh, Darren, do you have anything else for me presently? Nettermath will pat him on the shoulder and, and uh, just sort of silently uh, collect his spear, which is leaning in the corner, and uh, and walk walk out. Uh, Wait, sorry. Who walked out? Edermath or... Oh. Edermath. Oh, Edermath collected his spear... And then uh, walked out of uh, Wester's office. And he'll he'll motion you towards the towards the jail. Alrighty, Flame, are you here? Yes. Okay. So, have you seen uh, the Andy Griffith show? More black and white Dude, television. You always reference this, and it's one of your old ass. I'm old as fuck. <laughs> That's fair, but have you seen the Andy Griffith show? No, I've seen it once with my grandma. <sighs> my grandma's like 86, by the way. <laughs> I hate you so much. Uh, boy, I have to go looking for a picture to reference the Andy Griffith show. This is a cultural <laughs> touchstone. Okay, you didn't you. I wouldn't be surprised if you didn't know who Beyonce was. I mean, I do know who time. Beyonce was. That necessarily, uh, doesn't necessarily mean I like her, but sure. Any lesser pop star, you will not know who they are. I think that's... We don't know your random bullshit, boring-ass TV I show. think that's definitionally what a lesser... Anyway. <laughs> Shut up. Oh, this is actually kind of neat. I found a an actual layout. Huh. Okay, so I'll I'll send you this once I find a, a good version of it. Um What was I doing? All right, so he takes you into the jailhouse. He takes you into the the jail portion. Um and will set down behind the desk. Uh he's very quiet cuz people are very obviously, you know, there, but he will say um he may be a bit foolish, uh, but I do believe that he means to make good on his promises. You have to understand, this is something that takes most adventurers a very long time to gather, but average people in a town are not as strong or as hardy as we are. Um, <coughs> the <deep. coughs> do what? The especially uh, older folk 
such as Wester, uh, do not have the constitution for the things that we do and see. Uh, and Wester is... Wester did what he thought was best. That does not mean that it was best. As a matter of fact, I think it was fairly deplorable, all things considered, but... <sighs> He will make up for his transgressions. We will all see to that. Now, the question is, what will you do now? That is the question. I believe we'll wait for Sildar's return. I figured that you might. Um, it will take Sildar another couple of days, unfortunately, I believe. At two days at the very least to be out in the wild and uh -oh. return. Here, uh, side note, I forgot to pay attention and I thought we were talking to a woman. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why did you think that? You have the Toriel voice. No, you have to understand. It's the same the voice you used in the Undertale The series. Toriel voice is more like this, you see. Very soft. It's so similar! I hate you. <laughs> He's an elf! All elves sound the same. Elves aren't gay, though! They don't have gay voices. <laughs> I don't know, man. They could grow from trees. That is pretty gay, actually. So you have to understand. <laughs> With Sildar gone, it will take many days for him to return. No, no, that's your fat, to... failing white man voice. Yeah, no, go that's exactly... The... Okay. Uh, go back to the gay off voice. It's funny. I I hate you so much. Oh, you cannot even imagine how much I hate you. Um, uh, he will say, uh, it will take Sildar a couple of days uh, to return. Two at the very least, uh, assuming that Rydoth is able to keep his wits about him long enough to be of use. Um, but We sent a message to him from through Sister Grail, and he said that he was meeting with Druid today. Oh, well, that is most, uh, most excellent. Well, perhaps it will only take him the two days. Still, um, I suppose that that leaves the three of you sort of up in the air until then. Uh, if there's something that you would like to do uh, in the meantime, uh, my orchard will sort of take care of itself uh, for a while. I will check on it occasionally, of course, but uh, I... If you don't mind, I have reasons to be here. Uh, if you would like to leave me uh, watching the jail, I will certainly do that. We aren't quite sure what we'll do in the meantime, but we do have a letter we found on Yarno. Um, I think Fitz is carrying it right now. Do you have it with you, Fitz? Do I have the what? I didn't catch that. Uh, we found a letter on Yarno. Oh, yeah, I do have that. The black spider imprint letter thing. The black... The, imprint the black spider? Hmm. Yeah, take a look. I'm removing this from my inventory, okay. by the way. I don't feel like I'll need it. So you hand the, hand the letter over. Uh, and he will... He will look at it. And he is reading it and reading it and getting redder and redder <laughs> uh, to remind you if you don't know what the letter says it says lord albrecht my spies in neverwinter tell me that strangers are due to arrive in fandolin they could be working for the dwarves capture them if you can kill them if you must but don't allow them to upset our plans See that any dwarven maps in their possession are delivered to me with haste. I'm counting on you, Iarno. Don't disappoint me. And then it's signed with 
uh, a black spider sigil. It keeps getting worse for you, Iarno. Who is the black spider? I don't know. In all fairness, I simply do not know. Hmm. I doubt that Iarno will tell us either, at least not here. You see, Iarno is part of the Lord's Alliance. The, or it was, I suppose, the same organization that trained Sildar. He worked as a member of the Guard in, in Neverwinter. I don't understand. How, how could a man as decorated as Iarno fall to this? Either way, I will watch him and make sure that he is here when those of his order arrive to reclaim him. I sent a message uh, last night to my order, uh, who will pass on that information to the Lord's Alliance, who will very likely send someone to gather him. Thank you for that. It was my pleasure. I may not be good for adventuring anymore, but my connections still hold. But that is none of your concern, if you wish it not to be. Uh, I'm sure you have other things to attend to here in town, and I certainly hope that you will do so. You are heroes today, and for some time. I, uh, I certainly hope that you enjoy that while it lasts. Certainly. Thank you. Gentlemen? I suppose we'll head out. He will, he'll, he'll, you know, he's still got the limp. Uh, it seems to be a bit better today. Uh, he's kind of out flexing the muscles. You know, he got some, some good licks in last night. He's feeling his oats. And he'll walk you to the door, uh, wave you out, and uh, wish you Thanks, wish you luck on the day. Uh, I guess the question now is, um, we have two days till Sildar arrives. What do we want to do with them? So I kind of just out of character discussion. I think we have a couple options. I don't really... I think we could visit the mining. We should probably visit Lene Greywind for a reward. I think... We yeah, could we visit should... the mine just for seeing what it is, because this is what Fanula was built for. And... Yeah. What is I don't know what else we could do. The only other lead there? we really have on things happening around besides just free-worlding it is the... something about raiding orcs in Wyvern Pass. It's all I remember. The only what other is, we have. What is up Tribor Trail? So uh, Tribor Trail is the uh, the path that you guys took. Uh, let me actually do a thing. The horse we rode in on? <laughs> kind of. So if you look here, uh, you can see the, the trade road running north and south. Uh, and then you can see Fandolin. And then you see the dotted line is Tribor Trail. Uh, it runs off of the high road and towards, I think it's just called Tribor is the name of the city. I'd have to look it up. But Tribor tra Trail is just this sort of uh, rough path that leads to Conneberry and places like that. So. If you were going to Wyvern Tor, for example, you would take Tribor Trail. Uh, okay. Yep. Oh, God. I kind of... I just... What is the largest amount of hijinks we can get into in one day, and then we can have the other day to, like, be productive? That's all I want. That's all I want from this... <laughs>